Today on Pots and Trowels, we're going to be planting garlic, and that's brought to you with the support of Cobra Garden and Darlac. Hello, and welcome to Pots and Trowels. Well, I'm in the veg garden today, just doing a little bit of work. It's feeling very back-endish now. We've just gone from October into November. And I'm going to be planting some garlic, but before I do that, I've got some really exciting news to share with you, because many of you have been watching our Pots and Trials videos now for the last few years, and we greatly appreciate all the support that you've given us. But we have now launched Pots and Trials, the podcast. So as well as watching us once a week, you can also listen to us. And this will be brought to you every Sunday morning. I'm going to be joined by Jill, you excited about this, Jill? I am. And Sean will also be with us on most of the podcast when he can be. And we're going to talk all things gardening. So we're going to have uh, interviews from people that work in the gardening world. I'm going to answer a few of your gardening questions. We're going to look at jobs that you can be doing in the garden. And Jill is going to be sharing some of her delicious recipes and showing you how you can put all your homegrown produce to good use in the kitchen. So that will be released every Sunday and you'll be able to get the podcast from me your normal podcast supplier and at the end of this program Sean will put a link on to give you more details so hopefully you'll join us not only on the videos but also on the podcast every week. So back to today garlic. I'm going to plant some garlic although it is the back end of the year it's the perfect time to plant garlic. You can plant it in the spring, of course, but it needs a, a long growing season. And garlic tends to do better when you plant it in the autumn, gets its roots down over the winter, gives it a longer growing season, and you'll get much better bulbs as a result next year. And what I'm going to plant is actually elephant garlic, but the procedure and planting is exactly the same. And this is an elephant garlic, not a huge one. They will get bigger than this one, but this has been given to me by a friend of mine, just so I can get the cloves out of it to plant. And elephant garlic is a much milder flavor. If you've never eaten it before, it's much milder. And it's more related to leeks than it is the actual garlic itself. So looks very similar, but got a mild flavor. And as you can see, that's the main bulb there and garlic divides into the individual cloves. And you can see the individual cloves are much, much bigger than an ordinary garlic. So, um, but worth planting and they're both good. Planting now, perfect time to do it. With the elephant garlic, they always say sort of by mid-November is the latest, but if you're planting the ordinary garlic, you can go into December. So there's still a few weeks to plant. Now I'm gonna plant this in this bed here. This is where the potatoes and the root crops are being grown this year. And I'm gonna use these three beds here on a rotation system. So what will happen next year is the onion bed and the legumes, which you can see there, we've still got the leeks in there, which we're gonna be harvesting over the next month or, th or several months, all the way through till spring. That onion bed will now be here. The root crops will go to where the brassicas there now. We've got the cabbages and the kales. And then next year, the kales will move along to there. So it's a three year rotation. This plot behind me will remain permanent. It's gonna have things in there like the asparagus and just a few seasonal salads. So this is the perfect plot to do it. We've dug the potatoes out. Um, there's one or two, there's a volunteer potato growing there. Look, that's one that I obviously didn't lift and in the mild weather it's grown. So we can get rid of that. It's not gonna do anything, so that can go. Um, and any little bits of weeds we've got, I'm just gonna fork out like that. And I'm not going to do a great deal to this soil because these are raised beds. I don't walk on them too much and the soil is quite loose. So I'm just gonna give this a, a rake over just to level it out a little bit so that we can plant. It drains well. We've had a lot of rain over the last couple of weeks here. Several inches of rain fell uh, in a matter of days, but it's drained through really, really well in this soil. So I'm pleased about that. And what I'm going to do is then add a little bit of compost on it, just to keep the levels there and to add some nutrition and keep the soil in good condition. And this is so, uh, compost that we've made ourselves, not bought compost, it's actually two years old. It's, it's all the compost out of the compost bin and old pots and containers. Been in the compost bin for 
best part of a year. Then I bagged it up and it's continued to break down like this. And it has made an amazing compost, really, really well rotted down. So I'm just going to tip that onto there. And again, that can then just be raked out onto the surface. It will work its way in. The worms will do an amazing job of getting that down into the soil. So that will keep the soil in good condition and it will also give just a little bit of feed to the roots. At this stage, I'm not putting on any fertilizer. I think there's gonna be enough nutrition in there to get the garlic growing. And then in the spring, I'll give it a feed as a little boost to keep it growing even more. So I'm using my faithful planting stick just there. Now, normally if you're planting the ordinary garlic, you would plant them probably four to six inches apart. Um, these we're gonna plant a little bit further apart because these are bigger cloves and these are gonna make much bigger plants. So I'm just gonna plant these to start with. So I'm gonna put one there and these are two inches, two, four, six. I'm gonna plant these about six inches apart. So we'll have one there, one there, two, four, six. So 15 centimeters, six inches. And then with a trowel, we're going to plant these in the ground. Now, rule of thumb is when you're planting garlic is we want the tip to be below the surface. Sometimes people plant them and I've done it myself so that it's still visible like that, almost as if you're planting onion sets, but sometimes the birds will peck them out. And because these are gonna be in over the winter, we need to give them a little bit of protection. So the rule I'm gonna use is, I want the same amount of soil above the clove as the size of the clove. So that and that much soil on the top, okay? And that just gives it that little bit of protection. So pop that into the hole fill it in and just a light firm. So it really, really is as simple as that. So pop that one into the hole. Again, we've got that couple of inches over and above there. Just fill that one in. And this soil is so easy to get down into. They're about two inches, aren't they, from top to bottom. So I think that will be fine. The pointy bit up, if you're not sure, you can usually see then if this is where the roots are going to form, you can see the little root nodules there and that's where the shoot will emerge from. So pop that one in there and the final one just there like that. Now I will obviously complete that row. I'm going to put my trowel in to remind me where I've got to, otherwise I'm going to be planting on top of garlic. And that is it basically. All I will do then when I've finished is just give the bed a very light rake over to take any marks out there and level the surface. And what I'll also do is put a couple of canes or labels at either end just to mark where the beds are. And what will happen is within uh, about a month or six weeks time, the elephant garlic bulbs will start to grow and ordinary garlic will do exactly the same. So it's the same procedure. We'll get nice little shoots, popping up through the soil. But the important thing is that it's gonna make a really strong root system. They'll stay there over winter, they're totally hardy. Come the spring, it will burst into growth. We'll get nice tall growth like this. And come July next year, we'll be able to lift our elephant garlic from the ground and enjoy it. So it really, really is very easy to have a go at. And there's still time to get the bulbs. Some garden centers have still got them, got them and you might be able to get some online. So, you know, have a go if you've got a space in the garden where you can plant them. And if you want more tips on gardening and to listen to some interviews, don't forget our podcast is there now so you can find it and listen to us on a Sunday morning or any time you want to when you're out in the garden.
thank you for watching Pots and Trials. And don't forget, you can watch all of the videos that we've done by going onto YouTube. Just search for Pots and Trials and you can, of course, subscribe for free. Next time, we're going to be in the greenhouse sorting out some citrus that have got a bit of scale insect on them. So we'll see you then. Bye.